So good afternoon, everybody. It's a, it's a big honor, and I will say also a big emotion with all these people to uh, be here today and um, to present updated results of standard modeling searches on, on behalf of the Atlas collaboration. So uh, this slide summarizes our results. Uh, this plot shows the reconstructed mass spectra for uh, um, the 11 uh, distinct channels in which we have been studying um, X uh, decays and they, they, we have been searching for the X bosons. So in 2011, the LHC has uh, delivered to ATLAS 5.6 inverse Fentobarn, and I would like to echo what the DG just said. The ATLAS is extremely grateful to all the people who have conceived, built, and now operate the LHC for this extraordinary performance, which we have been uh, uh, making all our estimation over the last 20 years, assume 20 interactions per crossing when running at design luminosity 10 to the 34. So with the huge amount of data that we have collected this year, five times more than what we were expecting at the beginning of the year and with the excellent performance of the experiments, we have been able to uh, exclude uh, a huge um, range of the allowed uh, mass region to the 95% confidence level. So with 95% confidence, which is a very high level of, of confidence, and uh, over the last week, we, we have started to see some interesting excess of, uh, of events uh, in a mass range around 125 GV. Uh, this excess may be due to a fluctuation, but it also may indicate uh, something more interesting, interesting coming up there. And so we need more, uh, more checks, we need more scrutiny of our data, and we need definitely more data to reach a firm conclusion. Combining the two experiments, ATLAS and CMS, will also be very useful to, of course, uh, increase the, the sensitivity to this search. We have analyzed very quickly the huge amount of data collected in uh, 2011, something like five inverse femtobarn of data. And uh, with this data, we know now that uh, we can exclude the presence of the standard model Higgs in a wide region of mass uh, from 600 GeV down to 130 GeV. We cannot exclude more at lower mass because we see excesses of events in the low mass region between 115 and 130. In addition, in this region there are excesses whose statistical significance is not large enough to claim that we have a discovery, but they're very suggestive of the presence of a standard model Higgs, I would say they are consistent with the presence of the standard model Higgs. Finding the Higgs changes our vision of the world, matter and the universe. Our world will be completely different without this mechanism.
One of the possible things that we'll see at the LHC are signs of a new particle called the Higgs particle. Now, if this exists, it could explain why some other particles are heavy and some of them are light.